The summer schools will attract anywhere around a thousand students each year and they'll come from somewhere between 50 and 60 different countries. Burma. Germany. Macau. France. Romania. Greece. Greece. China. Argentina. Mexico. Singapore. Austria. Scotland. America. Australia. Ecuador. Brazil. Uganda. Coming to Cambridge is really like opening Pandora's box. You gleam a little bit of information from the courses and then you realise that there's this whole other world of information and it's really difficult to sort of contain yourself. You feel almost as though you have been starved all year and suddenly you're sitting at a banquet, an intellectual banquet. It's wonderful. The summer schools have been fantastic. It's a really accelerated program, so in one week we're able to condense, for example, five Shakespeare plays or three Jane Austen novels. And for me, the pace of that is absolutely exhilarating. I think one of the great things about the Cambridge course is um, the way in which it is geared very much towards um, a good combination of something which is academic and something which is fun. I think there's also something about the summer school atmosphere, you know, that people have devoted a week or two or three to this uh, experience. Um, they've really set aside some time and they definitely want it to be special. So it's a kind of concentrated moment when lots of exciting things can happen. An incredibly important thing is the friendships and a lot of our students are returners. Some of them come back for one or two years, some come back for five or 10 or 15 or more. And over those years, they build up very, very strong friendships. The moment you get here, you'll be made to feel as part of the family. It's been amazing getting to know all these people from all around the world, different cultures come together to experience a summer in Cambridge, which is one of the world's most prestigious universities. It's just an honor being here. It's a great academic challenge. We have very good lecturers, we have very good courses. You can actually work with um, a, a group of uh, maybe 20 or 25 students and they will interrupt you, they will ask questions, they will make comments, they will disagree with you as you go along. So it's a chance to interact with a group of very committed students. It's also an opportunity to teach more genre-based courses, to go across disciplines. We have literature and philosophy courses sometimes, literature and history, talking to one another. So we've also got a chance to put on courses that move outside those disciplinary pigeonholes. I'm studying chemical engineering, but here I studied uh, neurology, which is another field relevant to what I do. And it was like a, a trial session in order to see and experience new things in the fields of science. It was really interesting. I think the beauty of the program here is to realize the breadth of science and to be able to realize that even though we might still at heart be a physicist, a chemist, a material scientist, to be aware of what's going on in the others and actually realising the overlap is part of being a modern scientist. What we've been doing for the last three or four years is to try to take on performance studies as well as text and to offer practical workshops. I've also done excursions to go to Stratford-upon-Avon to see the Royal Shakespeare Company. And again, it's the fun of the excursions because again, you're with people from, from everywhere and it, it's a new adventure. The lectures and the tutorials are very interactive. You have a lot of group discussions. There's a deal of critical analysis uh, in the lectures as well, which I really like because that was one of the skills I was hoping to try and develop whilst I was here. But then, of course, there's an opportunity to debate uh, and to think. I like that every day is a different lecture. They're just great. They're very energizing in the morning, good way to start. And I like the generality of the topic for the plenary lecture that really allows the lecturers to pick an area that they're interested in that potentially we've never thought of. Summer schools are a very varied and very lively and enthusiastic group of students. They come from all over the world. Uh, they're very, very diverse in their backgrounds, their ages, what they've been studying. Uh, and they bring to the summer schools a terrific amount of, of commitment and, and energy. And that's very rewarding to teach. It's just a range of people, people who are still students, people who work, people who have retired. You can be a beginner and you can still learn a lot while you're here. The range of people who come to the summer schools is one of the greatest pleasures, I think, of working with a group of students here. I like the interaction that we have between professors and students from different countries and the perspectives everybody can give us. With the teachers, we are very keen to make sure that we have got the experts in their field. The professors are 
amazing. Um, they're incredibly intelligent and they're also just really interesting people to talk to inside and outside of class. I can't believe the things that I'm learning here. I thought I was getting pretty good at history and then these people just open up a whole new place in your brain. The energy that the professors have in class, pacing in front of students and also talking, trying to engage class into discussions. They're always available after class to answer questions, which makes it really great. We are exposed to so many things in so many different ways, which just really gives you that opportunity to expand your mind and encourage you to explore other areas on your own. After several years, I decided to do a master's degree because of some of the things I learned here and the topics I got interested in. And I'm doing a MA in English history back in the States. There's not been a day that I have not felt at home here. But this has been like an amazing experience for me. It's the joy of teaching a subject that's something that you research and have a passion about and some school gives you a chance to do that. I love it. I love the education. I love the people I meet here, the staff, the facilities. It's just is, uh, it's the best thing I do all year. It was very, very interesting and enlightening. This is the most wonderful experience in my life. We have wonderful professors, wonderful lectures, wonderful courses, and wonderful friends. I was truly inspired this past couple of weeks. It's been wonderful. The rooms, the gardens, the buildings are absolutely beautiful. And the people that I'm staying with, they're all wonderful. I look forward to the meal times where we can talk and discuss our days and what we learned. Just being able to study here for four weeks uh, is, is a lot of fun. I can only imagine what it's like to be here for three years and then some. To step off the train, to walk into the colleges, to the university library for the first time, and to find yourself feeling as if and you're being educated by just being in the surroundings of the place or wanting to pick up a boot because you know that's the that's kind of the aura of the place. Cambridge is so pretty and so beautiful. The buildings are so grand. And Downtown area there's plenty of shops and cafes. And there's um, wonderful museums. If you are looking for something to do from dawn to dusk there's something that you can do. I look forward to every morning when I'm getting up for breakfast because the walk in from the memorial court over that 400 year old bridge into Claire's old court itself is something to behold. I'm staying at Keys and it's great, I love it. Living in St. Catharines has been a lot of fun. I have met some of my closest friends here. I'm staying in Selwyn College right now and I know it's a very historic college. Uh, one of my favorite parts about it is just being in your room listening to the church practice across the way and just hear that music through the window. It's it's rather nostalgic, which is really nice. Just walking through the courts, they're so beautiful. It's not just you know historic ar architecture, but the gardens are, are wonderful. And sitting and uh, eating with everybody, you get to know everyone when you go to dinner. It's difficult to sum it up in, in a word. Thrilling. Exhilarating. Educational. Insightful. Inspiring. Fulfilling. Life-changing. Amazing. Incredibly fun. Intellectually invigorating. Rigorous. Unique. Transformative. Incredible. <laughs> Joyful. Stimulating. Breathtaking. Educational. Friendship. Magical. Fulfilling. Fun. Very special. Inspiring. Best thing about summer school, besides the lecturers, which are great, are the classroom interaction and the people who are participating in the class. For me, the really exciting thing is when it all leaps into action as people arrive. Best thing is diversity and learning about other cultures. It's the excellence of the deliveries. It's just, uh, it's better than turning on the television. It's in 3D, you actually feel and share the enthusiasm. You can ask questions so that it's really dynamic. You really learn how to prepare presentations and how to debate, for example, and you find a lot of friends. The pleasure of having students from all over the world to work with, and of course one's colleagues, because one's working always with the the best mind in the country and that's a pretty attractive package. Just being in Cambridge, it just opens your eyes up to a whole new world. It's really something different, something out of the ordinary, something out of the academic year. This place is amazing. I've had a wonderful time. It's been outstanding. I would recommend it to anybody, no matter who you are, where you're from, it's so worth it. Um, the people are real nice and Classes are great. Like, it's an experience you can't get anyplace else. I, I think you'll find it a fascinating and really transformative experience. Anyone who is mentally hungry should get here. It's going to be a very special year. 
and we hope as many people as possible join us for the 90th anniversary year of the summer schools in 2013.